welcome back everyone in this video i will discuss about the flutter project structure here i have created this project flutter token management getx with the help of get cli tool and after that in the pubspec.yml file i have taken this dio and git storage as a dependency now in the app folder i have created a folder named as core which contains a subfolder called utils this utils contains three files custom snack bar full screen dialog loader and get storage key this custom snack bar is file contains a class for displaying the error snack bar the info snack bar and the success snack bar here you can see that i have created a method named as so error snack bar which takes a context the title of the message and the message which you want to display and in here i have used that get dot snack bar method which is taking the title message the position the background color after that the style for the title text the style for the message text what will be the text color and after that i have given some border radius i have given margin padding i have used an icon and i have set should icon pulse as true and i have given the duration as four similarly here i have used so info snack bar rest all the codes are similar only the background color is changed to blue and here i have used so success snack bar where the background color is changed to green so to display the snack bar i will use this particular class named as custom snack bar now let me move to full screen dialog loader this is a class which contains two method so dialog that is to display the dialog and one is cancel dialog to cancel the dialog here i have used get dot dialog and in the get dot dialog here in, as a child i have used circular progress indicator fine and in the cancel dialog method here i have checked if the dialog is open then i will call get dot back so by using this particular class and by using this so dialog method we can display any loader to our app after that i have created a file named as get storage key which contains two keys one is access token another one is a refresh token if more keys are required that i will keep inside this get storage key class after that in the data folder i have created a subfolder named as model which will contain all the models related to our application in provider i will create a file where i will write the code to access the api the repository will contain the repository code and in the modules i have created two modules one is login another one is for the profile the login module will contain the login screen and in the profile module i will hit that protected root named as user which will display the user id of the user that will be contained in this profile root fine and in the roots folder the roots of the application will be there so this is the basic structure of the project which i have created i will see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching